Alright then, so hello, and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So, in this episode, I'm going to be taking on Fumbaba, obviously, who is actually much easier, way, way, well, not way, way easier here than in the LLG, because he wasn't super hard in the L BF LLG, but he's totally brain dead here, so... He can be muted, and... I mean, what do you call a boss that can be muted? Dead, pretty much. <laughs> so... Doesn't even last very long, to be honest. I could probably do some sort of shenanigans with the flame tongue to do a whole pile more damage, or... One, two, three, four... And I'm sure using Seraph to make absolute sure that he's on mute could be beneficial. But, you know what, I'm just too lazy to re-equip my characters, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> just going to walk in, mute, attack, yeah. Pretty much just going to be another one of the random encounters outside. Unless if something goes incredibly wrong for no reason whatsoever. It's just going to go up a little after a bit, just so that I reach the end of the staircase. Ironically, you, you can descend staircases in this game by going up and left. It's pretty great. Down, left and up, uh, door. Run up a couple steps, cutscene. Hello, kid, get out of my way. You should probably stop eating at McDonald's because your girth is totally all over the place. I can't get by you at all. And now we, let's sit through cutscene number one. I remember when I was a kid, I always used to go outside and save after the first cutscene, so that if I died to Fumbaba, then I could restart. Needless to say, nowadays I don't really care enough to bother, because Fumbaba's pretty easy. <laughs> Hello Terra, cutscene number two. Time for the music to fade out. Oh well, now I know what I can probably use the knowledge that... of when exactly this cutscene ends. Oh no wait, it was the cutscene at the end? No. I don't know, I forgot what I was supposed to remember, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really save me any time. Gotta wait for the music to come back on because Tara's f flashback is very unnoisy. Perhaps she's just has a bad imagination. It's not even really a flashback for Tara, is it? She wasn't really there. So yeah, it's pure imagination that she's totally hardcore failing at. Okay, any second now. Should be hearing that menu noise telling me that the cutscene's over. <laughs> I just found this kind of annoying having the cutscene just before the boss fight, but it doesn't really matter all that much. There we go. Things have been finished. Well, the good news is, at least I don't have to go through healing that injured soldier. Like last time it was in Mobiliz. That was a significantly bigger pain in the butt. And I suspect absolutely no one in this world has watched that all the way through, including myself, because so it wasn't worth the time. I didn't even consider it worth the time to go do some animation animations? Of course not. I mean annotations. And I should probably be mashing the here we go, noises. Well, I, I think Terra's got this one, guys. Get ready to die, Fun Bubba, because Terra's taken you down. I swear. Look at that unarmed punch, all that zero damage. What, what? No, no, no! Cheat codes! I'm calling cheat codes! You can't attack that many times in a turn. You cheated. 
Whatever, I'll do it the boring way. Seven slash go. No, no, no. Someone got hit with that. Can't what? Okay, what? Was she on? Did I set her cursor to something else before? Okay, this is a magic menu. What's going on with that? Mute. There we go. Now hopefully it sticks. Let's give it a couple seconds. Now if that's stuck, I don't even think he can really do damage to me anymore. Especially not with missing Sabin. I'm pretty sure it's Sabin because I don't think. Oh no, wait, Celeste doesn't have a shield right now. Oh, wow. I... Wonderful. You didn't stick after all. Celeste might as well not even be casting spells because she's so busy attacking at the same time. To be honest, I don't even think it's super important that Mute does stick right away because. Well, his solar plexus still does quite a bit of damage. Hopefully that other mute's stuck. Well, I've got no evidence to the contrary. Seriously? Oh, right. Now I see where my problem is. Okay. So I would have probably used an item there by mistake if I didn't scroll down to the bottom of the item menu earlier. Thank you, past mistakes. Two mistake, two wrongs make a right. Like always. Yeah, so I didn't realize that Runic was grayed out because of my attacking, and I hadn't needed to use spells in earlier. Did I mess up Blitz, really? Oh, well, now four attacks are coming your way. He doesn't have that much HP, to be honest, so... Yeah, the mammoth amount of HP I'm rehealing every couple seconds because of that. Those region ticks. He's lost all opportunity at this point to take me down. See ya. To be honest, you, you made the right move, man. <laughs> Too bad you're gonna make the wrong move in coming back to... I don't know, I have no idea what your goals are in attacking this random village full of kids, to be honest. Maybe you're just a douche, I don't know. At any rate, you always pick the worst time, considering it's like right in the two seconds after I show up. I show up for like 30 seconds and you manage to invade during that time. <laughs> Pretty fail on your end. Alright, now this stupid, stupid kid is busy just chowing down on all the McDonald's here because... He can stay in my way for a very long amount of time. And there's really no routing that can save this, because I start right there, pinned in by the guy. So yeah, this is perhaps one of the easiest segments of the entire game. Han Baba required about as much effort as Ifrit and Shiva, or... Marshall or Magitek armor, morons. Alright, now I'm gonna hope I made it out by there. Thankfully I can walk out from behind this door, and that'll tell me right where I am when I get there, so all I gotta do is take one step back, and then... If it, unless that kid decided to really stay in there for like half an hour. Or if he's just chowed down on so much that he's literally just taking up the entire place now. made it. Hello, give me stuff. Yay, free stuff. Should have probably sold that to Azza or something. Could have gotten a fortune out of it. Right down... Alright, wind is blowing, so that means I can get out of here. Lazy. Should be at the top now. Right at the top, right and down. A for lazy. Down, left. 
one, two, three, all the way right, all the way up, down right to get out. Yeah, I totally deviated from my route there just to save a couple seconds and just improv the crud out of it because I don't even care. Uh, so I'm still an item because I haven't done any mini wing at all. And that took half as long as my LG despite cutting out none of the cutscenes. See you next time.